Welcome back to Bluff City Grub. I've asked Greg to give me his tips for biscuits and gravy, maybe nice sausage gravy. I've got a bunch of family coming in town, I need a cheap way to feed them all, and I have got to get that flour taste out of my gravy. <laughs> Greg, you got anything for that? Yeah, so we're going to show you how to do some biscuits and sausage gravy, and it's going to be really good. Um, one of the things we're going to show you is how, you know, to get that flour taste uh, out or don't put that flour taste in the gravy. Another thing we're going to show you today is also how to impart a lot of flavor uh, in your sausage gravy. See, the problem is with sausage gravy, a lot of people, uh, they end up making it and it gets really watered down and it just doesn't, it just doesn't have flavor at all. We're going to show you how to solve that problem with gravy today. I'll tell you what, Greg. I you talk about watering it down, and that's something I commonly do. And the first thing I do to thicken it up is just toss a little more flour in there. That's absolutely a mistake. You don't want to do that. You can actually, you know, add more water and more water to it. And that's probably one of the best things you can do if you mess up. But you don't want to add more flour. Greg, how you feel about lumpy gravy? Nobody likes lumpy gravy. All right, we're going to start out with our pan, get it nice and piping hot. And we have our heat here on medium high, which is perfect. We're going to start out with a little bit of butter. Roll that around a little bit. And dump some onion in there as well. Small to medium onion. Go ahead and add your Jimmy Dean sage flavor sausage in there. You're going to get your sausage broken up really good. We're just going to toss it up and let it cook for a few minutes. Alright, so we got sausage all nice and browned up here. It's looking good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to throw a little bit of butter in the pan. And this is going to be the beginnings of making a roux. Let that melt down a little bit. You can see the meat and the onions are already hot, so it helps the butter disintegrate a little bit faster. We we'll go ahead and dump our flour in there. Now the whole reason we're dumping the flour in here right now is because everything's really hot. And we're going to stir it up and it's going to cook really fast. It's going to help the flour cook through really good. You notice your pan's starting to get a little bit dry here. It's okay. This is definitely going to make sure your flour has definitely ample enough time to you know, cook all that flour taste out of it. Alright, we're going to add some green onion. And then some fresh herbs in there as well. We got rosemary. And a little bit of thyme. A little bit of chicken stock. And then we're going to stir vigorously until it thickens up. Alright, now we're going to add a little bit of water to it. Now we're going to let that cook down for a while. Alright, so we're uh, the gravy's been simmering for about, I don't know, seven to ten minutes now. And as you can see, it's not as thin as what it was when we put water in there, but it's still, you know, a little bit on the thin side. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of cream to it. Don't worry, I'll have the uh, recipe below. So you don't have to worry about how much we're putting in there right now. Now we're going to whiten it up a little bit. And that cream's going to help it thicken up. And we're going to just let all the water kind of cook out of here. And the thickness that we want with gravy is this you get a spoon and when it coats the back of the spoon that's how you know it's done so it's really thin right now so we're going to let that continue to simmer and when it gets reduced down 
it'll be ready. All right, I think we got the thickness that we want for the sausage gravy here. Looks like it's coating the pan pretty good. This is where I like to season it. So we're gonna add a little bit of salt. We just wanna salt it to taste. And a little bit of pepper to it. Mix that up real good. And then we're gonna add some fresh green onions right here on top of it. Perfect. All right, so we got some uh, some biscuits here. These are just your basic biscuits, uh, grand from the grocery store. You don't have to go anything special there. Let's keep it simple. I already complicated the gravy enough. <laughs> we're just gonna spoon some of this right over on top of it. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, it looks delicious. 